Everybody that's lived in Kansas City knows it's a great place to live. It's a great place to call home. I would describe it as vibrant, as exciting, as, um, as changing. So it's, it's not what you would expect it to be, and it's not what it used to be. There's great people here. There's great talent, um, really smart people that work really hard. I would describe it as home, but I also would describe it as unexpected. The Greater Kansas City area is home to 1.8 million people and is a destination for over 22 million tourists every year. For those that enjoy the arts, the Kauffman Center is a new place to visit. It has two beautiful halls that actually showcase performances. They have been able to get um, very uh, big artists to come and perform there. Um, it's very uh, technologically advanced as far as the acoustics. The center has also gotten critical acclaim for the building's design. There's an architectural element that people want to come and see. Lots of people have walked through the doors here from all diverse backgrounds. It's not like anything else, I would say, not only in the region, but probably in the U.S. Kansas City also boasts more restaurants per capita than any other city in the United States. We have more barbecue joints than any other city, so I think the fact that we have so many, the fact that a lot of people have heard about Kansas City barbecue because we do it uh, differently. It's low and slow, you know, we originated the burnt ends, and so there's a lot of uh, reason for people to want to come to Kansas City and try our barbecue. While most Kansas City sports fans bleed red and gold, one team's new facility has helped them gain a larger fan base. I think the role that our team plays in the community is uh, very crucial. Uh, a lot of people look up to us. But sporting hasn't always been this lucky. Back when our owners bought the team in 2006 from the Hunt Sports Group, it was leaner times than we see today. Now we have an actual stadium uh, for a lot of fans, diehard fans, uh, just regular fans that just want to watch a good soccer game. Sporting fans are a major part of the team's success. Obviously our brand of soccer is very entertaining and I think uh, you know, people come out and don't know what to expect in the, and they see us play, they just kind of make it a home for everyone, including the players. Sporting Stadium is very technologically advanced, it's a very cool stadium, you've got the um, cauldron, and so just being there um, promotes the sporting um, dynamic that, that goes on with it. We see the sellout crowds, we see the championships being won here at Sporting Park. It's really, it's hard to imagine if you would have thought back in 2006 when Sporting Club became owners of Sporting Kansas City that this much success would have came this quickly for the team. The crowd go wild. Sporting's We're recent success is just a small piece of Kansas City's identity. The fact that we've gone through a renaissance, the fact that we're in the Midwest, so when people come to Kansas City, whether that be the first time or whether this is their fifth or sixth time, there's always something new to see. Really anywhere you're going to be staying, there's lots to do and lots to enjoy in Kansas City. With our performing arts, our food, and our sports teams, it's easy to see why Travel and Leisure magazine named Kansas City one of the top 10 places to visit in 2014. With photographers Joe Andrews, Josh Cowan, and Kylie Oswald, this is Abby Dodge reporting for Titan Television.